Hello, welcome to Plant Summary Therapy, and today we're going to be talking about the basic care of the house plant Dracaena. Dracaena is a group of plants that have over a hundred different types, and they are commonly found in almost every garden store. Uh, they go by different names as the Song of India, uh, Ribbon Plant, Dragon Plant, Corn Plant, uh, Janet Craig, but the care is the same, and this plant is easy to care for and maintain. My garden store received a huge selection of Dracaenas, and they are pretty affordable plants, but the larger these plants grow, the more expensive they are. So I try to get plants that are smaller and then grow them up to be large. These plants are very healthy. You can look at the color and the leaves. Um, some of these have brown tips, but that's normal. That's mechanical damage because of the movement of these plants during shipment and uh, stocking. Whenever you buy a plant, you're going to have to figure out first where you're going to put it. Uh, this Dracaena is a tall plant and it grows nicely, so it doesn't have a very big footprint in your home. It won't bush out and take up a lot of space. It'll grow tall and still look pretty good. In the tropics where I live, these plants can grow outside and do well in partial shade to full sun. But these plants have grown up in the nursery and I don't think they've seen direct sunlight. So if you're going to place it in your house, you're going to have to place it away from a bright window that has uh, direct sunlight. All plants require lights to survive and most house plants can handle medium indirect light to bright direct light. You're just going to need to give them time to adjust. When we choose our plants, we usually choose the plants that we like because we're using it to decorate our house. And a lot of times we would choose the plants with interesting designs or colors, but you have to realize that these colors or uh, designs or variegations on these plants, it will fade or it will change depending on the amount of light it gets. So you're going to have to take that into consideration. Usually the brighter colors, they can't handle direct light and um, usually white burns easily in direct sunlight so you have to be careful with that but like I said in the tropics these plants grow outside and outside they have to tolerate a certain amount of direct sunlight so if you give them time to adjust they'll probably do well when choosing a plant from the nursery or the garden store you check your plant thoroughly for any parasites or infections not only do you check the plant that you have you check the other plants around it because sometimes the entire shipment could be infested with parasites or infected with a disease. I live in the tropics so I can buy plants anytime during the year without worry. If I lived in a temperate climate I would, very, I would be very wary to buy plants in the winter or when it's very cold because a lot of these tropical plants which are indoor plants they cannot handle any time in the freezing cold. Once you get your plant home, put it where you had planned to put it and make sure you don't overwater it. Just let it stay there, let it get adjusted. And once you see new leaves sprouting and the leaves look healthy, then you know that your plant is in a good spot. So to review, before you buy the plant, decide where you're gonna put the plant. The best place would be in a spot where it gets bright indirect light to limited amount of direct light. I live in the tropics, so humidity is not a problem. But if you live in a drier climate where humidity is a problem, then you can fix this by placing your pot with the plant in it in a slightly larger planter that has a pool of water in it. And make sure this pot with a plant in it is, sits above the water so the water will just be able to evaporate and create humidity for your plant. That and then keep a spray bottle nearby or in the planter, a little small one in the planter and just spray it once in a while. If the beads of water stay on your plant for a longer period of time, then your humidity is probably fine. But in the dry climates, that little mist of water is gonna evaporate quickly. Once you prepare for the basic needs of this plant, this plant is going to be one of the easiest plants you've ever cared for. 
Try not to overwater this plant because the number one killer of house plants is overwatering. If your plant produces a spray of flowers, it either means one of two things. Either the plant is struggling and wants to reproduce before it dies or you're doing a great job and it wants to reproduce. Either way, just cut off the flower because it drains a lot of energy from the plant and the spray of flowers is not that spectacular. Plants in your home not only looks nice and makes your house look fresh, it also freshens your air. Dracaena rates among the best plants that purify indoor air from not only regular gases like carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide, but also harmful gases like uh, styrene and benzene, gases that are released in paper products or wood products that are in our homes for our modern conveniences. This has been my presentation on Dracaenas. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped. Please like and subscribe. Take care and aloha.